So yeah, we talk. I was talking about the trauma bond. And uh, yeah, a lot of times the young lady will get mad at you know. She arguing with her mom or whatever it is. She'll blurt it out. And she's messing around with the stepfather or whoever he may be. And he's older. At first, you know, she wasn't saying anything. Then, you know, she either try to hurt her mom or uh, get him in trouble because he didn't give her something she wanted. You know, she's bad. Then, then she's jealous. What is that? Is that make everybody mad? No, nah, don't get mad. Don't get mad. Don't get mad at her. Because he a manipulative little piece of shit. Don't get mad at him. Because I've seen that happen. I think that's what happened. Well, yeah. Yeah. Be out on vacation chilling. Like a villain. Yeah, man. He went home for a few, like a month. Like six weeks or something like that. And they argue, and the next thing you know, they fight over him. And you know, she, she called her a liar. Yeah, damn, you sitting up here, you know. I told you what time you wanted her to go play some numbers for him. And she's like, well, you know. I'm like, damn, could have asked me, did I want to come? So I jumped in the car, I had to run behind her. She's like, Hell, you know, when he, when he, when he tells me to do something, I jump. What the fuck? <laughs> Let me tell you, man. Yeah, 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 well, I, I ain't get along with you or whatever. That's my, my, that's my biological father. And yeah, shit, I ain't feel that way. I ain't getting up jumping for no man. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, no. Uh, nah, that no man, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, my boyfriend or husband, you yeah. know, yeah. I don't fucking think so, you yeah. uh, ain't that serious, fuck out of here, uh, uh, no, <laughs> this is right before he passed, he was on his deathbed, you know, and she was playing the type of music he like and dancing all provocative and shit, look, look, Look what I can used to be able to do it. Look, well, I'll be sore tomorrow, but I'm gonna do it. Mm, okay. I'm like, okay. Mm. You feel in some type of way today, huh? Okay. <laughs> but he's okay. Shit. You know, he's out doing his thing, driving the car and everything. He's like, what, a week later, they tell him about he's on hospice. Huh? What? 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 They ain't never, he ain't never did nothing to me either. And he never raised his voice, or, you know, nah, nothing like that. But, uh, you know, he's the type of person I've just heard about certain things he's done, and it ain't nothing good. So when I heard he really passed on, I was like, Oh well. Right. I'm pulling I'm pulling the cry feel some type of way. Uh yo. Uh uh. He didn't beat my cousin up, his wife. Uh, you know, supposedly did inappropriate her, you know, so uh, uh no, dude, you know, you know, my guy, uh, he was saying some off the wall shit, he gave us a ride home, and, uh, you know, I was, I was like, okay, daddy, I love you, daddy, 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 and, you know, that's not her fucking dad, that hurts me too. I oh, don't know, man. Like I said, <laughs> I ain't get along with my dad. You know, a lot of he's brought on himself, and you know, there's some manipulation and triangulation on my mother's part going on too. Yeah, uh, I, I, I don't care. Sometimes I'm a little curious about you know how he's doing. You know, he's still here. I doubt it. He, 
still be 77 next month. Well, there's a good possibility because his, mo his mother, my grandmother, and his father, my grandfather lived a. Man, it lived down, you know, she passed at 78 and he passed at 89. So, yeah. Um, you know, but he wasn't taking care of himself, my dad. No. So, I don't guess. I don't guess. Yeah, you know, well, what I'm saying is I'm a little curious and from time to time about what happened, you know, what's going on with you, where you've been getting. There's other days where I'm like, I don't care. But, like I said, is, I, I think I talked about that, and there's another reason for that, too. Hilarious, fucking hilarious. Um, what was that? What was that? Where is that? Where is that? I'm saying, no, I ain't get robbed too. Oh man. Oh, okay. Nope. I had what I or you know, biologically. In my life, everything I ain't trying to be adopted, not trying to adopt nobody. No. <laughs> also, you know, while we were on vacation and people would ask, I was saying my mom's boyfriend at the time, I'm like, yeah, I'm looking at him at like my dad, you know, he's a good guy and everything. We get along. Then, then I said that, that, you know, she started trying to get her little shit started and everything. You know, she started with the triangulation. There is no way in the world that I looked at that man other than her boyfriend. No, 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 no. No. You know, he was cool, but like I said, you know, she uh, did her triangulation and everything. And I ended up where I couldn't stand that man. That's fucked up, man. Damn. Damn. And, and, and I wouldn't try to fuck him. And would you get mad if, if I wanted to adopt him? Would you get mad about that for boy? Uh, that's stupid. Fuck wrong with you. If he, if he didn't say something about something, he might not have liked it. I'm not sure. But she'll say, he didn't say anything, but no, he didn't like that. They're good for that in this family, too. They, they're mind readers. They can tell you. Can't, can't you tell he didn't like that? Wow. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, they, 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 you know, they love to have people walking on eggshells. Come on. Damn. Hell no, I wasn't trying to fuck that man. Man, man this crossed my mind. And he ain't never came at me. You hear what I'm saying about these people I'm naming off today, they never came at me like that. Me coming on to them, you can forget that. But no, they never came and shoot. If he did, I'm like, no. And I tell her. No. No, it wasn't even that type of party. No. This, this bitch crazy. It was crazy. She was nuts. She always tried to say I'm crazy, but it was her. Mm -mm, play that desert music again, nigga. Ooh, I'm sorry.
wouldn't say future faking. I wouldn't say love bombing. He did a lot of bragging and talking, and he fell for it. He couldn't come through with it, but you know, he, he was hanging in there. He was hanging in there. They say he loved her. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah, but yeah, he, he got mad at her for a few things, and yeah, he said some pretty disrespectful things to her, so yes, yeah, I'm, I'm remembering now, man, who, who the fuck is this? Okay. Alright. So yeah, mm. So he said, who the fuck you make sure I make me mad with him and everything, bro? Let's be quick, y'all. Let's go. <laughs> Dang, lady. Oh, yeah. She, she makes me feel so cute. Uh, she used to say, she called that, they called that a good time. And what I'm saying is, you know, like if people get drunk and start fighting and stuff. And the next day, they all, you know, they forget about it. They're cool. Nobody's mad at each other or anything. She'll say, now that's what they consider a good time. Trying to talk like, you know, they're so, what's that called? Dysfunctional and she's normal. You know, she, I don't know. She tried to act like she wasn't really into fighting, physically fighting, but she always used to get you know, people arguing and mad at each other and everything. Yeah. But then fighting, physically fighting, oh, that's going too far. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yes, yeah. She started trouble between me and the guy I was seeing dating out there. Caused trouble between me and her man. And, oh. Oh, yeah. And they had my man mad at him. <sighs> wow. Okay. Well, no, she was all pissed off and everything then. I was like, oh, that was a disaster. But my attitude was, yeah, shoot, it was a disaster. My first trip there. Yeah. And it's only because she made it that way. <laughs> so, I said, yeah, next time, you know, we'll do it better. And she was jealous. And then, then took, took all the credit and everything. You know? And she, she knew that was a good guy that we uh, rented the, um, condo from that was my buddy so yeah she had to triangulate with that that third trip like damn strikes again that fuck god damn chill so fuck had me you know looking sideways in him and everything I just need to be back on the back that you ever had just give me a chance and let me show you how much I want to give you that love touch I want to give you my love touch She was a fucking troublemaker. Like I said, it was my fucking buddy. Here she come. Oh boy. I mean, it really, like I said, we're not joining and attached to the hip. You should have stayed in your spot, and I could have stayed in mine. It was my buddy. Fuck out of here. No, I wasn't trying to fuck him or nothing like that. He's married. 
it, it didn't matter about his age. He's a lot older. I didn't even matter. I'm just saying. But, yeah. Yeah. That nigga did bad. Love and is the best that you ever had. Just give me a chance. And let me say how much I want to give you my love, son. Right, damn, lady. <laughs> Fuck. Mm. I'm surprised I ain't like that. You know, you know, you try to get some shit started. Yeah. yeah. That's, I know how that feels. It's, it's not a good feeling, you know. Watching your back, watching over your shoulder. Can't trust nobody. You think they gonna stab you in the back? Oh, hell no. Uh uh. Mm. Can't we all just get along? Fuck. I just tell how much I'm to get my love to matter. Never matter no more. Find out if the love is strong. Says, I love to show you my love. Love to. Wow, messed up, man, messed up. Ooh, okay. <laughs> okay. Now, back to the trauma bonder. <laughs> oh, you see how I went off and did that, that, that. And it. Fuck, man. Okay, so. Yeah. <laughs> These people, man, they be putting too much, that's my opinion. Too much store into these step parents. Fuck out of here. Talk about it like he's a king. Like, get the fuck out of here. Don't well, fuck a wood shit. A piece of shit. Oh, what a Take the wheel. I gotta hold you in these arms of steel. Oh, yeah. It's, 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 you know, that's how it is with the empath. The scapegoat. Yeah. When a parent gets sick, you're the one. Oh, the gold child, you know. They're, they're supervising and telling their overseeing and telling everybody what to do. But as far as like cleaning up ass, cleaning ass and uh, wiping ass and uh, throw up and feeding them, and you know, it's, it's the empath job. I roll, bring you a bottle of wine and a girl. Rolling across the water Here we go Oh, what a ride Oh, yeah I almost got caught up like that But the Lord took care of it, you know But, yeah, I almost was gonna be a fool like that Fuck out of here when, when I was like probably ew, either a teenager or my early 20s, I ain't, we was arguing. I told her, I'm like, I'm gonna find the worst nurse in the whole I can find and throw your ass in this. She went off. Yeah, and then she was going crazy. Golden child, two times she was hospitalized. One time, they never really found out what was wrong with her. They read, tested everything. She was. 
had some uh, intestinal trouble, bowel trouble, you know. And uh, she stayed in the hospital for a week. That was very nice. Writing and, you know, looking at TV with her. Uh, I'm laughing because she was heavily medicated. And I was looking at The Simpsons. And, uh... They were saying something about the hully gully, and she said, the hully gully? And old dad, and she went back to sleep, and I was cracking up. <laughs> but, eh, and he got jealous because the nurse told me, oh, you're always keeping busy, look at you. I brought some bills that I had to mail and, you know, put stamps on it and, and label and everything. I brought my right there. She wished me good luck on my writing. She pissed. Oh, you're always keep, you're always keeping busy and busy. Wow. You know, nurses, uh, seventy five percent of them are caring and compassionate. You know, they nice people. Yeah, that pissed her off too. And like I said. <laughs> She, she, she talking mad shit around them people. Oh, oh, they just, oh, I can't stand it here. Oh, these motherfuckers. Then, then when I'm there, hello, how are you? Hi. <laughs> so I don't know. More than likely, you know, she's full of shit. She's full of shit. They 